Guys, big drone flyer 77 here. Got the little Falcon Pro here. I'm gonna take it for a flight. Just letting you guys know it is super windy today. So I'm not gonna shoot off any film because the film on this is horrible. It's worse than the X5C from SEMA. So um, maybe a picture I might throw on there, but the clarity is so horrible. Um, I don't know if I even want to put it on there. But anyways, I'm gonna. I am going to bind the controller and quadcopter here. All right, got two beeps up, down. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put it in rate two by pressing in this lever here since it's pretty windy right now. Okay, here we go. I apologize, this is my second flight. The first video was well, I wasn't able to use the first video because too many people came around, so um, I had to stop the film. But this is my second flight. I really didn't get to fly it much that other day, so that's not too bad. I do have a couple little clips, at least from that first flight. I'll show you guys. And I'm going to try to do a flip this time because I tried it on the my first... Uh, video and it was horrible so you're gonna press in this lever here you're gonna press in and whatever side you want to go there we go there's one press it in go to the left there we go okay right all right let me go forward here because it's pretty windy give it some power let's try it backwards there we go all right i kept the gear on there just because it's windy it gives it a little more weight but um, I'll probably, I'll end up taking it off in just a minute here. I'm going to bring it back to, to me. I just wanted to show you that real quick. I um, wonder if I could, let me try. I'm not going to do the reverse control because I don't like that at all. But I'm going to try a headless mode. Let me face it that way. Let's try a headless mode by pressing this once. Let's see if, yep, forward. There we go. Oh, whoa. Well, there you go. Wind blew her down. I should have gave her more power. But see, you get to see my flights as they happen here. All right. Oh, landing gear is coming off. I'm going to just go ahead and take this off, guys. This stuff's starting to come off anyway. So, um, well, at least we know headless mode works. Just the wind blew the copter down, the quadcopter here. So, I'm going to take it out of headless mode by pressing this once. The lights stopped uh, flashing, so let's give this a shot here. Okay, we're in rate two still. All right. All right. There we go. This is how I like to fly. I like to fly without that camera and stuff, so. You know, look at all the dragonflies. Wow. Yeah, that one's pretty good right now, I tell you. Whoa, just blew it down. Yeah, you definitely don't want to fly this one in the wind, let me tell you guys. It's definitely not a wind machine. I think we got gusts up to like 8 miles an hour right now. It's 80-something degrees. So, um, you know, this is more of a 5 five mile an hour or less. I won't even do that. It doesn't, it just doesn't hold up very well. I probably should have kept the landing gear and all that stuff on, keep it lighter, but I don't want to. Yeah, it's really fighting the wind bad. I'm just going to film this for a couple minutes. You guys seen these before. I'm not going to do a 20 minute film on this, so. Yeah, you can see it just drifting right there. go oh, it's, you know it's not doing too bad for her. there's the all rate and second in this in the advanced uh, second right there you know it's not doing too bad for for uh, how windy it is yeah 
I don't know what happened there. My camera just stopped on my phone. I need a GoPro or something. Definitely need a 4K. Well, my phone's 4K, but I need a 4K actual sports cam. Anyways, I had to stop for a minute. I heard it, heard it beep and stopped filming, so there we go. Right, just a couple more minutes because I'm going to add on to that first film there or that I did the other day. I can only use a few little cuts of it. I'm going to catch the wind right now. Big breeze coming. Yeah, let's see. It's catching it right there. I'm not even touching it. It's kind of holding it up. All right. You know, it's a pretty cool little bird, you know. It's only a few bucks. It's not too bad, you know. But I sure appreciate True Drone reviews for sending me this quad, giving me something to fly. I definitely needed to fly. I missed it. Sorry, the wind caught me there for a minute. I'm loving this red though. This red color is freaking awesome because you can really see where it's at. Yeah, it's definitely fighting the wind, so we're almost going to call it good here in a minute. We just can't. We just can't get no better, uh, I mean, the, the the weather is awesome, don't get me wrong, 87 degrees with this breeze feels very nice, but for drone flying one of these little guys, not so well. Um, let's see what kind of range we can get, it says 150 feet, you know, I don't want to push it right now, it's going to keep flying into the wind so I don't lose it, so that way if it does lose the... Uh, does lose transmission it'll blow it back to me you know that's another good pointer um, just like uh, true drone reviews was saying about it you know flying to the wind and he's right you know and that's the smartest thing to do especially when and especially you know if you're going distance or you're not familiar with a with one of these little quads 